Spurgeon. Brodeen will play with Christian Follin. Brodeen holds his own. Puck loose along the wall. Eric Holla digs it free for Minnesota. Holla centers, and Schrader is stopped by Crawford. Somebody home at the point. It comes all the way back into Chicago territory. Seabrook is there. Across for Duncan Keith. Back to Seabrook, who's been red hot for the Hawks lately. Shaw into the Minnesota zone. His long shot knocked down by Backstrom. Keith plays it in behind into his own zone. Ryan Suter carries ahead for Minnesota. At the Chicago line, his pass for Carter was off target, but now Suter has it back and regains the zone. A strange carom out front. Rolled right through the Chicago crease. Semyon Varlamov. Coyle holds the zone for Minnesota. Crawford out to play it. Keith has it on the far side. He's watched there by Fontaine. Niederreiter trying to poke the puck away from Seabrook. He does. Coyle fires. Saved by Crawford. Rebound into the cleat. A small frame, but uh, good to see him. Sharp here slides one by Backstrom, and the Blackhawks are on the board first. National Hockey League in shots per game at 4.7, only a .1 behind Alex Ovechkin, and this was a great move, cut hard to the net. Backstrom dropped down, didn't slide. Five titles. Pretty amazing run. He was an all-tournament player as an eighth grader in the 05 state tourney. Pulse is in for Chicago, flips one toward the net. Backstrom got a piece of it. It's in their last eight games. Suter, tonight they're challenged by the best penalty killing team in all of hockey. The Hawks just over 90% for the year. Miko Koivu with it, gives to Suter. Suter to Pominville, he winds and fires, and it's tipped just wide by Vanek. Hawks the top penalty killing team away from home in addition to the overall number. They're 90% on the road this year. Zucker a shot, and it's off of Crawford and out of play. How do you? Brodziak has it there for Minnesota. Finds Brodine at the point. Brodine, watched by Jalmerson, plays back down low for Cook. Cook trying to center instead to Follin for a drive. That got through and a pad saved by Crawford. Jalmerson. Back years ago, this kind of stanchion system was commonplace. Here's a tip shot by Schrader, and Crawford robs him. Two good scoring chances. Across for Richards. To the point, Seabrook. Back to Richards. Wild a man short, and Zucker playing without a stick. Richards has it. Watched by Koivu. Across to Seabrook for a shot. Bickle with a redirect out front. Zucker sprawls, trying to... Had a chance, shorthanded, but had it taken away by Taves. Now Shaw plays down low for Kane. Kane centers. Taves is stopped by Backstrom. Keith holds his own for Chicago. Inside two minutes left in the Blackhawk power play. Kane fires, saved by Backstrom with Shaw in front of him. Suter plays it ahead. Seabrook holds. Taves works his way out of the corner. Taves drops it back. Richards fakes the shot. Kane scores. And the Hawks make it 2-0 on the power play. It's the front of the net, and the pressure will come right down low. And he just loses his footing and can't get across. And you never know, with Kane's type of shot, he may have put that somewhere anyway. But Nicholas Backstrom's just out of the net. And yeah, he almost got it anyway. But Kane has 20 goals now in the season for a reason. It's to Seabrook, a long shot, knocked down out front. Tipped ahead by Spurgeon. Zucker has it. Vanek jumps out of the box. It's three on two for Minnesota. Vanek. Fires and it's tipped by Zucker, but wide. Vanek plays up, avoids one man, gives to Pominville. To Zucker for a shot. He didn't get all of it. Rebound goes to the boards. Koivu plays for Pominville. Looking for Zucker. He got him. He scores! Jason Zucker coming off of two goals against the Sharks. Has the Wild back in the game. Zucker had and fanned on it. Usually they'll pay a little bit of attention to it, but they left him alone again. And he went to the well, and he, he actually pulled something out of it this time. But just a laser beam of a shot. And Zucker continues to be Chicago's own. Drops it back to Suter. His shot was deflected. Seabrook got it back to the line, but Suter holds again. Bannock works to the middle. Behind the back to Schrader, a shot. Saved by Crawford. Oh, I like the chance that Schrader's getting. He's... 
Howla battling for a puck along the wall. He hits Kruger. Loose puck to the line. Suter holds. Vanek tried to settle it down. His backhander's kicked out by Crawford. This line buzzing for Minnesota. Fontaine up front. Spurgeon and Brodine at the points for Minnesota. Fontaine back to Spurgeon. Now to Fontaine. Works his way down the boards. Fontaine still with it. Niederreiter tried to walk out front. Puck is still loose with Crawford down. Face the Blackhawks are at full strength. Spurgeon intercepts the long pass intended for Richards. Got it ahead for Carter. Carter bearing in. Center for Cook. And it was broken up before the shot could be taken. Bickle getting some quick attempts. And they continue to put a lot of pressure on the Hawks here in the second. Bannock settles it down and fires off the post. Schrader and deny the Hawks a change. Bannock to Howla. Howla's in, fires, and it's off the end glass. Howla, Schrader, Bannock continuing to cause problems for the Blackhawks. Schrader with a shot, and the rebound swept away at the last moment with Eric Howla nearby. Got pad saved by Backstrom. Only the second shot on goal for the Blackhawks this period. We've played 12 minutes. Brodziak back in for Minnesota to Carter. Saved by Crawford. And we get a whistle and a penalty. Out to the point, Pominville. Pominville leaves it behind for Vanek. Vanek works his way in. Back to Pominville. Suter a drive. Save Crawford. Rebound is loose. Crawford finally able to cover with Vanek, Zucker, and Koivu all nearby. Brodine has it back to Spurgeon again. Back to Brodine in the middle. Power play about to expire. Fontaine down low Coyle. But Spurgeon hit the post. A brilliant feed from Coyle to Spurgeon, but he deflected it off the base of the post. Along the boards, couldn't feed the point. Now he tussles with Kruger. Loose puck bounces in behind the goal. Zucker delivers a hit that decleats Keith. Coyle tried to center. That hit escape. Ian Runblad tie up in the corner. Fontaine saucers one in behind for Niederreiter. Niederreiter banks it out to the point. Spurgeon wides, fires, and it hit traffic, never reached the net. Runblad tied up by Niederreiter. Coyle fires, and a save by Crawford. Well, Crawford leaves it behind for Keith. Jalmerson with a long pass at center. Kane sidesteps Koivu into the Minnesota zone. Kane drops. Bickle, a shot, he scores. And the wild killer strikes again. The Hawks lead 3-1. And then all he does is just drop a little pass here to the top of the circle. And boy, did Bickle step into this one. And not only did he step into it, he put it in a pretty good spot. Right at the intersection of post and low wins the draw. Bannock has it along the wall. Goes cross ice. Spurgeon was breaking in. His centering pass just out of the reach of Howla. And then Bannock. Tried to feed the point, but it's in between Spurgeon and Suter and comes skill to make a play. Well, that's an interesting well, interesting combination, too. You have a good sell when one of your top players, Jonathan Taves, is one of the best defenders in the league. Schrader in, and a kick saved by Crawford. Taves, as I mentioned earlier. Koivu plays to Zucker behind the net. Centers! And a blast by Fontaine went just wide. Tremendous play by Zucker along the wall. Suter has it. Back to the middle, Brodina drive, and it's tipped just wide. Centering pass for Zucker, and that's stopped by Crawford. Has produced nearly a point per game for the Iowa Wild. 24 points in 28 games. That earned him a shot. Here's Fontaine off a brilliant feed by Suter, and Crawford kicked it out. Penalty coming against Chicago on the play, and the Wild will get a power man. Wild changed their power play skaters. Coyle double teamed along the end wall. Niederreiter supports. Tries to jam one in. Save Crawford. Rebound is still loose. It's under Roosevelt. And Roosevelt covered the puck. Roosevelt covered the huge opportunity for Minnesota. Niederreiter sweeps in. Vanek gains control. Drops to Pominville. Off the post. Rebound. They score. Nino Niederreiter on the power play. It's 3 2 Hawks. Off delivery of the game. Look at this quick little feed by Vanek. He buys some time for Pominville to wind up. Did that that looked like it went post and crossbar? Did it go post and into the net? Gotta take another quick look at this one. It made a plays it back. Zucker races in for Minnesota. Pominville supports to hold the zone. Out to the point, Suter. 
Plays across to Vanek. Vanek fires. Pad save. Crawford. And the rebound cleared by the Hawks. Seconds left. Brodine battling along the wall. Extra attacker on for Minnesota. Thomas Vanek, the extra man. Zucker to the point for Suter. Suter shot saved by Crawford. Bickle plays it off the wall and for the Wild. Trying to sneak one up the boards for Pominville. And it's cleared up and over the head. Bickle with the empty net for Chicago. He scores. It's 4-2 Hawks. Second of the night for Bickle.